Hello and welcome to another unboxing. Uh, this unboxing is for Zbox, which um, I think was I impressed with last month's. I can't remember. Um, but this one is mutant themed. Um, I was I did previously cancel my Zbox subscription and then restarted it for the marvelous one, um, which I think I liked. I think, if I remember rightly, I liked that box. And then I saw this was Mutant, and it had Wolverine's face on the picture, and so I kept it on. Um, let's have a gander inside. They've got the standard box art. I think it's standard, or maybe they change it every now and then. I don't know. It's a bit of a plain box, but I'll crack on and see what's inside. Now these boxes are, they're, they're bigger in size, they're, they're normally the same, a similar size I think, um, but they've usually got black and white, or black and cardboard coloured um, box art, and this one is, um, it looks like, ancient Egypt with apocalypse making pyramids maybe, um, on there, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. Um, the only, I mean, seeing now a little bit of what's in there, um, I, I assumed that Mutant was just going to be X-Men. Um, at the moment, other than the box art, I can't see anything X-Men related. Um, so I was clearly wrong. Um, but we'll start with this big one, which is, of course, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, mutant being in the name, and it's a fabrication. Um, so it's all fabric -y and it's Raphael. Um, I I don't know what Zavi have with Funko and fabrications at the moment, because I've had three from them now. It's the third, I had two from the Civil War boxes. Um, but this one's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, as I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of fabrications. Um, they're they're not childish, but they're not my cup of tea. And I think my younger siblings would probably enjoy them more. I think my little sister would quite like that one, um, if, especially if I'm giving Iron Man and Captain America to my little brother. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much they go for. Um, but they're pretty decent size. Just going to touch it some more. Um, and he's got his little daggers there. Or psi, are they called, maybe? Um, but yeah, that's alright. I guess it does fit in with the theme. I didn't even think of them. Um, now this. This. Disney Infinity Hulk. I'd be fine with that. I mean, I already have the Hulk, Disney Infinity character, so obviously I would rather something else, but Hulk is not a mutant. Hulk does not fit this category. I can't think if there are, just having a look, no, there's no X-Men characters for Disney Infinity, so there's no Disney Infinity characters they could have chosen for this theme, but that's a very strange pick because he is not a mutant. And as I said, I've already got him. So, yeah, I'll probably give that to my little siblings as well. But it would usually be cool to have that in there. They're, they're quite pricey. They're about £8.00 sometimes £10 for these Disney Infinity characters. <clears throat> They're nice designs and they are cool, especially if you've got the game, you can actually use it. But again, Hulk is not a mutant. Um, and then um, we'll do the t-shirt, which looks like a coloured version of, oh, it's weighty. Um, it's a coloured version of the box art. So yeah, we've got Apocalypse. Oh, there's Apocalypse. Is he there? Oh yeah, he's there. Um, 
making the pyramids and people bowing down to him and there's the Sphinx, I think that's the Sphinx. Um but yeah, that's pretty cool. It's it's quite weighty actually. Um so yeah, feels quite good quality. I'm alright with that. Um and then lastly, the only X Men thing in there, other than the T shirt, is this this um which is x-men season one all new original graphic novel modernizing the seminal origin and formative first days of these superhero icons that defined pop culture um i don't know if that's but i don't i've never seen that before um but that's pretty cool i love the x-men i have a lot of X-Men comics and um, mainly Ultimate X-Men but I love the X-Men and so that is pretty cool, it's quite weighty, quite big. Um, apparently retails in the US for $24.99 so yeah it's pretty good quality um, and then again we get the uh, little Z-Box magazine um, next month's theme is Legends, which has Zelda on the back, and so I will probably cancel it for that because I'm not a fan of Zelda. Um, but yeah, just to recap, we've got the Disney Infinity Hulk, uh, the Fabrications Raphael Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Um, I assume you could have any of the other ones. Um, we've got the X-Men Season 1 graphic novel or comic book and um, then the t-shirt, the X-Men t-shirt um, and that's it. Is that a bit light? I don't, I don't know if that's a bit light. Maybe not. It's, I don't know but yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with that except the Hulk because he's not a mutant um, but that's pretty cool. The only thing that I will actually keep is the graphic novel and the t-shirt. Um, these two things I won't. But if you like fabrications and if you don't have that character, they would be good additions. Um, so yeah, that is Zbox for June. Um, as I said, I'm probably not going to get next month because I don't like Zelda. Um, but yeah, I have more unboxings. I still get everything else and Marvel Collector Falls is due to come soon so I will have that up too and as always more reviews, film reviews, I'm going to the cinema all the time um, and I'm hoping to get a bit of a schedule going so Mondays I should have a new release, a new release of some sort so it may be a couple of weeks old but it will be a film that's in the cinema at least I will try. But yeah, stay tuned for all of that and thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos and give this video a thumbs up. Bye!